Hey everybody, this is Aaron Urban Hillbilly coming at you with another sneak peek and uh, tonight we are going head to head on fish fry. Now, uh, my kids be wearing out some deer meat for dinner, so Robert Arrington, this one's for you. Uh, you constantly are preaching Everglades seasoning and tonight I was uh, running through the Winn-Dixie look what I found. Now, all my life I have been die-hard Hal Sultry. So much so I made a video about it last year, uh, Thanksgiving. But um, anyways, I'm gonna uh, I picked me I picked me up some uh, some some catfish fillets uh, for dinner. I'm flying solo tonight. I got no cameraman, so uh, y'all just bear with me. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and open this stuff up, whip it up. Got my oil on heat, and we'll catch you in just a minute. All right, y'all, we're ready to do it. My uh, grease is ready, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and get that batter on there real good. Now we're gonna do the half salty first. Yeah. They are the First in line here, I'm just trying to get that, get that on every little piece of, uh, man I have made it absolute dog mess, y'all don't hold it against me. Like I said, I'm flying solo, you know, you get a, a fat man in the kitchen all by himself with an empty house, all the kids and wife is gone, something crazy is going to happen, so here goes our, uh, now that shouldn't take too long here. We're going to cut you back here in just a minute. Alright y'all, so... The house altar is pretty much done. I'm fixing to pull it out. Um, as you can see, while y'all was uh, on hold there, I, I pounded out my steak with the uh, trusted dusty mallet. It's a lot of star people don't know how to tenderize meat these days. They eating, eating that shoe leather steak. <clears throat> Anyways, I pounded that out time for me to marinate my steak. Go ahead and pull these uh, house sausages out. What a... I don't know if y'all see the steam rolling off of that bad boy or what, but... Boy, that's good. That's good to eat right there. I know it's good. Now we're going to see what Mr. Arrington is talking about here in just a few minutes. I'm fixing to throw these up. Gosh, I'm mighty, y'all. That is, that is, that's pretty right there. I pay good money for that. <clears throat> All right, here goes the Everglades season. We'll see what you're talking about, Mr. Arrington. You know, like my brother would say, I'm from Missouri. This, you know, to show me state and yeah, to show me. We'll find out. Ooh. That was almost too long to fit in the pan. Woo! That's a caliente. Alright. So we're gonna let them rock for a few minutes. I'm gonna marinate my steak. Some old trusted dusty Worcestershire. And uh I'm not one for one of these little caps. I can't stand these little pork spouts. Go on up in there. Yeah, like that. And then a little secret ingredient that I like some old lemon juice. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Black part. And a pink Himalayan salt. Gotta have salt on that thing. Now my uh, grill is already on, so I'm gonna let that die. Uh, uh, yeah, roll that in there a couple times. Just like that. All right, we got our cup splits in there. They're cooking up good. I'm going to start the other side. My grill should be blazing right now. Now maybe I'm, maybe I'm just uh, chinchy or cheap. Most folks will tell you not to do this, but get in there. I'll take that, un, that unused meal. I'm not gonna waste it. I'll throw it in the freezer. So that way, if if there's any crummy stuff in there, it's froze until next time. So I just keep reusing it over and over again until it's all gone. I don't waste not want not. Stewarding even when I'm cooking. Them bad boys are looking real good early. Now, what I did notice the difference in the ingredients on the uh, on the Everglades is that it's got more corn flour in the mix than what the house softer does. Both of them's got it, but when you look at the well, I'll just show you. It's easier to show you than to tell you. Um, when you look at the main ingredients here, if the camera will focus, hold on. That's the ingredients on the Everglades, and then there's the ingredients on the uh, high sauce. I can't get it to focus, but anyways. The Everglades got more corn flour in it, so it's uh, a little bit more yellow, and it's brown. It browned it up a little bit different than what the house officer did. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm a little stoked to uh, see what old boy's talking about. If I'd have thought about it, I'd made me some hush while I was at it, but I ain't think about it. So, I couldn't my toddle, baby. Alright. Call me flip. Alright. Thirty seconds, go throw that steak on the grill, I'll be right back. Alright, so I eat my steak uh extremely rare, almost blue sometimes. Uh anyways, we're gonna leave that on for about four, four and a half minutes on each side because that's an extra thick steak. Um, so at 8.54, I'm going to run out here and so get some more. Looks like the Everglades catfish is ready. Now, old Charlie Daniel said, you got to have give credit where credit is due. Looks all right. We'll see what happens if uh, 
Oh, uh, oh yeah, looking good. So uh, we'll get back to the eating here in just a few minutes. Steak will be done here in about five minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we got the steak all done. Boy, that's looking good right now. We think, we think, we think. All right. This right here. That is the. This one here is the uh, Everglades. This is the house altry. Let's see what's up. Softer, that's not too bad. Kind of what I expected. It is. Boy, that sucker's still screaming hot. I mean, screaming hot. Let me give me a drink just in case I hurt myself. Here's you, Robert. Officer, one more time, and let's just, just see here. They're both. So, House Altry versus Everglades. First thing I notice, Everglades is complete. It comes with the seasons and everything all in one shot. I don't have to do anything to it. I don't even have to uh, do any salt or anything like that. And I didn't do any of that on purpose. Just so I could get pure results from the batters themselves. Everglades is good. I like the season on it. Um, for me, what I like better than uh, what I like about the uh, Everglades better than the house tree is I like more of a cornmeal texture, the grain. I like that. Um, whereas the house tree is more smooth, there's no grain. It's really, really, really fine ground uh, batter. But, uh, I mean, I think the sub unconsciously, my mind has already made a decision as which one is better because I tend to keep grabbing the Everglades. I like both of them. They're both good in their own right. Now, if, if, now if I was going to make a sandwich with it, I'd want the house sausage for sure. Uh, a fish sandwich with a slice of cheese and some tartar sauce on it, whew, boy, that's hard to beat. Um, but if I'm just going to eat fish straight up like this, I'll take the Everglades. Anyways, um, I got a big old fat steak waiting on me, so I hope y'all enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.